Welcome back to part 2 of basic CCTV setup and if I didn't mention it before I'll say it again this is the setup of the LTS Platinum Series 8 channel in VR yeah, this has a 4k output and the cameras that I'm putting on it right now is going to be 4 megapixel cameras you can put 5 megapixel cameras I think you can even put up to 4k cameras on this piece uh, don't quote me on that, I have to check the specs but you can really put some high resolution cameras on this particular NVR but we just have one attached because this is due for an install in our apartment building self-contained and I'll get that project to you in its own separate video but for now the last video I think we left off with setting up a record schedule so now we're going to enable the motion detection and configure some zones also we're going to uh, configure the email notifications so you can get notified with different uh, conditions of the system uh, motion detection etc and also we're going to um, configure the set behaviors called exceptions and we are also going to briefly show how to go about changing the name of the cameras on the system so you can customize it and also as a bonus we're going to show how to access the cameras from the NVR, the individual camera. We're going to show you where to go to access the cameras so you can get into the camera settings and make changes at the camera level. Alright, so let's get started. First things first as usual, we need to log in. So we're just logging with the uh, credentials we need for the initial setup. Right, and once we are logged in, we're going to enter the configuration settings. And then we're going to go to event. Uh, once we're on event, we're going to check to see if the enable motion detection is, is checked. If it's not, if it's like this, you check it. And if it's not checked, most likely this is going to be clear. Right, so we are going to now enable motion detection. Alright, you have to select your camera. Enable motion detection. You may want to enable dynamic analysis for motion if you want to, but I usually leave that off. Right, now once you enable in, in the uh, motion, you would want to set your zone. To set the zone, you simply make um, the areas where you want to detect motion. So you, come, you click draw and you left click with the mouse and you drag and then you release where you want to cover the zone so for instance this fan is spinning right now I may not want to cover that piece of motion that piece of movement so I might want to put my boxes here to cover this piece of motion I may not want to cover the screen something might move so I'm going to put a next, a next box here right I get the corner nice and then I might want to put another box here and then for those little spaces you might just want to check that little area there and you could probably move up and right. then go across like that I'm trying to get it to come out well you you get the idea you can draw your areas and when you're finished drawing you stop drawing so anything that crosses this area like that little plastic that's moving right now that may not trigger it but once it's something moves within these zones it will trigger off the motion detection now once you've enabled your zone we hit save now you can adjust the sensitivity right I leave it at the default the default is just fine it usually tracks good motion all right now once you have selected your areas you can go with the arming schedule now the arming schedule is similar to the um, the recording schedule, right? Where you would come in and you say, right, I want this camera to record 
during this time you can see when to record from let's say 8 o'clock in the morning so 0800 to probably 8 o'clock at night which is 200 and you can see it. so you see that little area there that's the only time it's actually going to record this camera is only going to record during that time and it's only going to record as per the recording schedule the motion all right it's going to record motion between this time now you can share that from Monday to Friday same way like with the recording schedule you check the days you want hit OK and it applies quite simple quite easy all right and you can save this and that will be the schedule for the week that's the arming schedule so you, it will record motion between 8 8 in the morning to 8 at night Monday to Friday Saturday 24 hours but ideally you wanted to record motion um, 24 hours so I'm going to just reset this back to zero and this to 24 right save that copy the all and then save that all right now the linkage method this is what you want to happen when it detects motion right so you can trigger the alarm output you can trigger more than one camera to record when you detect motion on this camera now you normally want to make sure that the, the, the channel itself that actually is triggering the motion is also recording but you can add second to fourth fifth camera to record at the same time maybe the cameras are all covering a certain area and if something triggers one you want them all to start recording you don't want anybody to miss anything so you can get different views different angles so that's an instance where we want to enable more than one channel to respond to the motion being triggered you can also link up ptz so right you have eight eight channel eight ptz's if you have eight ptz's on it you can link each ptz and there's presets and patrol numbers but that's another video where setting up a ptz what the preset is what the patrol is what the pattern is and you can enable all of that so from a simple motion being triggered off of a camera of a still camera you can set the ptz to use a preset to go to a certain area probably in the general area where this camera is so the ptz will just turn there immediately and start recording stay there for like 10 15 20 seconds and then move back to where it's supposed to be you know many ways you can do this there's so many things you can do with these systems they are so underutilized but in the right hands you can utilize them in almost any way you can imagine now we'll do another video on PTC but that'll be for another time so back to the linkage method so you want to link it right if you can you, you can hit that and link everything the audible warning is going to make a noise directly from the box it's going to send an email out so whatever email address you configure it's going to notify surveillance centers so if you have someone with the software like the uh, NVMS 7000 software on a PC like a surveillance center like a security guard um, monitoring station or something like that even your cell phone you will get a notification for the motion detection and full screen monitoring is when you have like a video wall or even if you're watching off a simple monitor that when this happens if you want the full screen if you want the person to pay attention when it is triggered whatever you set up it's going to enable that channel to come full screen for a preset amount of time it's going to come full screen for like five seconds and then you so if you're looking at it you're going to notice hey something's happened on camera three or something happened on camera one and you're going to pay attention because it popped up on your screen all right so you might want to just select which one you want usually i just select email i may sometimes in enable the surveillance center it just depends on what the client wants i usually don't put the audible warning because this motion can happen anytime two three in the morning you don't want this making noise at, at a home or somewhere where it just makes random noises and someone thinks something is wrong with the machine and when it actually just function like it should so i leave the audible warnings off so I usually put these two and if somebody is actually monitoring it then I enable the full screen but for now for our purposes 
we're going to just put send email. Now we're going to configure that email notification next. So once we have these things lined up, the channel is there. Now you can have an alarm output. That's another video again. If you want to see what the alarm output is for, I can do a separate video showing the alarm outputs on a DVR triggering a device. It, you use it like a, a, a relay to trigger a light, trigger a siren, to trigger another device. All right, so that's what that is. All right, this one does not have any alarm inputs on the back. That's why you don't see anything in this line. But normally when there are alarm inputs or outputs, you would see them here and you just select which one you want and it will trigger that one. All right, so once you have selected what you need here for your linkage method, you just come over and you hit save. Once you hit save, that's it. You have enabled motion detection. You have set up the times you want the motion to detect and, and to, to, to do something. And this is the something that you wanted to do. All right.